They call it the Ghost, invisible to radar, capable of delivering precision strikes from halfway across the world. The B-2 Spirit, America's most advanced strategic bomber, represents the pinnacle of stealth technology. On October 17, 2024, when Houthi rebels threatened vital global shipping lanes in the Red Sea with increasingly sophisticated weapons, Washington made a decisive call. Deploy the Ghosts. For months, the world watched as Houthi rebels in Yemen escalated their attacks on international shipping in the Red Sea, one of the most critical maritime corridors on the planet. Through this narrow passage flows 12% of global trade, including 30% of global container traffic. When the Houthis began targeting these vessels with advanced missiles and drone boats, the economic impact was immediate. With conventional naval defenses struggling to counter the threat, military planners began considering more decisive options. Enter the B-2 Spirit, the world's most advanced stealth bomber and the centerpiece of America's global strike capability. Developed at the height of the Cold War and first revealed to the public in 1988, the B-2 represents one of the most sophisticated aircraft ever built. The decision to deploy B-2 Spirits wasn't made lightly. With only 20 operational aircraft and a price tag of $2 billion each, these bombers represent America's most elite aerial capability. What makes the B-2 exceptional isn't just its radar-evading design, it's the combination of stealth, range and payload that creates a uniquely lethal platform. Unlike conventional bombers or fighter jets, the B-2 can penetrate the most sophisticated air defense systems undetected, deliver its payload with extraordinary precision, and exit before the enemy even realizes it was there. The operation began at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, home of the 509th Bomb Wing and America's B-2 fleet. Three B-2 Spirits were prepared for the 14,000-mile round-trip mission to Yemen. Each bomber would carry a full complement of precision-guided munitions, focusing on GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrators and GBU-31J dams. What made this operation particularly challenging was the time-sensitive nature of the targets. Intelligence had identified 31 critical Houthi infrastructure nodes that would need to be struck simultaneously to prevent the movement of mobile missile launches. The Houthis had developed an effective early warning system. If they detected the first strike, they would immediately disperse their remaining assets into tunnel networks and civilian areas. This meant the operation required perfect coordination between multiple aircraft striking dozens of targets within a window of less than three minutes. At 7 p.m., the three B-2s, call signs Reaper, Phantom and Shadow, began their 13-hour flight to the target area supported by multiple aerial refueling operations. As the bombers approached the Arabian Peninsula, they separated into their designated attack corridors, maintaining radio silence and passive sensor operations only. Despite Yemen's relatively modern air defense network, bolstered by imported systems, the B-2s penetrated the airspace completely undetected. At precisely 7.43 local time, all three aircraft began their coordinated attack. Within a span of 156 seconds, they delivered the 30,000-pound GBU-57 bunker buster bombs. The results were immediate and decisive. Command and control centers, weapon storage facilities, radar sites, and mobile launcher assembly areas were neutralized with extraordinary precision. What's remarkable about this operation wasn't just the precision, though that was exceptional, but the near-simultaneous nature of the strikes. The Houthis had no opportunity to disperse their assets because everything happened within such a compressed time frame. Within 24 hours of the operation, Houthi capabilities had been degraded by an estimated 87%. Attacks on shipping ceased immediately and didn't resume for weeks. The operation demonstrated America's ability to project power with unprecedented precision against distributed threats, even without a significant regional military presence.